I never thought my life could be anything but catastrophe. But suddenly I begin to see a bit of good luck for me. Cause I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden twinkle in my eye. One one quarter little scrumptious fudge mallow delight, please. <laughs> the nerve of some people. <laughs> I know. Forging a ticket, come on. Wonka's last golden ticket in my shop too. Listen, I'll buy it from you. I'll give you fifty dollars and a new bicycle. Are you crazy? I'd give him five hundred dollars for that ticket. You want to sell me your ticket for five hundred dollars, young man? That's enough of that. Leave the kid alone. Listen, don't let anyone have it. Take it straight home. You understand? Thank you. Loud. Let's hear exactly what it says. Greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket from Mr. Willy Wonka. I shake you warmly by the hand, for now I do invite you to come to my factory and be my guest for one whole day. I, Willy Wonka, will conduct you around the factory myself, showing you everything there is to see. Afterwards, when it is time to leave, you will be escorted home by a procession of large trucks, each one filled with all the chocolate you could ever eat. And remember, one of you lucky five children will receive an extra prize beyond your wildest imagination. Now, here are your instructions. On the 1st of February, you must come to the factory gates at 10 a.m. sharp. You're allowed to bring one member of your family to look after you. Till then, will you all come? First of February. But that's tomorrow. Then there's not a moment to lose, Charlie. Wash your face, comb your hair, scrub your hands, brush your teeth, blow your nose. You get that mud off your pants. Now we must all try and keep very calm. First thing that we have to decide is this. Who is going with Charlie to the factory? I will. I'll take him. You leave it to me. How about you, dear? Do you think you want to go? Well, Grandpa Joe seems to know more about it than we do. Provided, of course, he feels well enough. Yippee! 